Good morning viewers, today I will go to the Wuppertal and Dusseldorf monorail systems in Germany and see which one is better. And after a long train ride, we arrived at the first monorail of the day, the monorail of Dusseldorf Airport. This monorail was built and opened in 2002 between the train station Dusseldorf Airport, where we are now, and the airport itself. Trains consisting of two wagons hang from the rails. These trains don't have drivers, so we could sit at the front. Yeah! By the way, monorail isn't really the best name for this thing, because on the inside of the thing we are hanging from, there are rubber tires. I must say that in practice, options such as trams or buses are often cheaper and more reliable than monorails. But I do like the fact that you float over everything, so I think it's a nice little system for an airport. After 6 minutes, we arrived at the last stop of the SkyTrain, the airport terminal. Here we switch to a regional train to Dusseldorf, because there is indeed a train station under the terminal. But no intercity train stop here, because it's a terminal station, under an airport terminal. Wow! At Düsseldorf Hauptbahnhof, we changed to a small train that took us to the nearby city of Wuppertal. Welcome to the mother of all monorails, Wuppertal Schwebebahn. Not near an airport, but right through the city of Wuppertal. This suspended monorail was opened in 1901 and was the first monorail in the world. It runs right through the city of Wuppertal and is a very important part of the public transport network here. The line is 13 kilometers long and it transports 25 million people a year. Let's get on the train. Right now we are in Vorwinkel and we are going to drive the whole line to Oberbarmen. This monorail does have a driver, but you can look out at the back. This thing is called the Schwebebahn and in the first part we swim above the street. By the way, I liked it so much that I've shot way too much footage. So the extra scenes video should appear right now. After having monorailed almost 3 kilometers above the road, from now on we follow the river Wuppe after which the city is named. As I said in the previous monorail, monorails are generally not such a good idea. It is much cheaper to build a bus or tram line. You could even opt for a metro line. Here in Wuppertal, however, the monorail is a great success. This has to do with the shape of the city. The city of Wuppertal consists of a long row of towns in the valley of the Wupper that has grown together and formed one long city. This means a lot of traffic that has to go in the same direction. This is very bad for roads as this causes many traffic problems, but ideal for a transit line like a metro. However, the subsoil in Wuppertal was not suitable for a metro line and the streets were also too congested to build a tram. The only space there was was above the river, so that's why they built this monorail. Here, in the middle of the Wupper, you find an elephant. This elephant was placed here in memory of an elephant that jumped out of a monorail cart in 1950. Yes, you heard it right. Someone thought it was a good idea to transport an elephant in a monorail as a circus stunt. However, the elephant panicked and jumped out of the train. Fortunately, the animal survived the 12 meter drop. Anyway, before we get to the end of the line, here is how this monorail works. It is actually a pretty conventional system in which the wheels drive over the rails, but where the train is not above the wheels, it hangs below them. There are 20 stations on the line, and at the end the monorail can return after taking a loop. Personally, I think Wuppertal monorail is by far the best, because it has been working for a long time and is used by many people daily. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more about the German railways, Click this video.